Hello and welcome to Shapes and Colors. Let's double click on our network to look at how we can work with different shapes in Touch Designer. So we dropped a circle into our network editor and we can use the circle top to create ellipses, arcs, and polygons. And we can do that by first, we can see here, a key parameter is changing the radius of our circle. I middle mouse clicked on the value ladder and I'm moving left and right to change the radius of both the radius X and the radius Y. I can also just change the radius X to 0.25 and now I've created this elliptical shape. We can also, if I close the radius parameter and move down to rotate, I can rotate this ellipse here by sliding the radius from zero to 360. I can also change the shape, or not the shape, change the color of my uh, ellipse here. I can also change the fill alpha, and I can add a border. Here you'll notice that the border alpha is already set to one, so we should be seeing a border. But the key thing is that our border width right now is set to zero, so in order to be able to see uh, an actual border, we need to change that to, we can use our slider or we can change that value to 0 0.25, 0 0.025. 0 0.025 shows us now that we have a border here and we can change our border color. So now we have a nice elliptical shape with a border. And if we go down here to the polygon parameter and we toggle that on, we actually now can change our circle into a polygon. We can use our slider here to move up and create a uh, specific polygon. Let's say we wanna do an octagon and we can change the size of our octagon specifically using the radius X parameter. So one key thing to note is let's say I want this radius to be larger. I want it to be 0.5. So now we have a nice large octagon. If I try to change the radius Y, the second parameter, that actually wouldn't change anything. So make sure that if you're using a polygon, you can change the size uh, using the radius X parameter specifically. Additionally, uh, in Touch Designer, we can pull in a rectangle top to look at how we can work with squares, rectangles, and uh, rectangles with cornered edges. So similar to the circle, we have a lot of helpful parameters like fill color, border, you name it. Here we have rate, uh, size instead of radius. So I can middle mouse click on, on the size and use the value ladder to go left and right to change the size. I can also change the size. Let's change size Y here to 0.25. Oh, what did I? Well, I had an extra point, 0.25. And now I have my rectangular shape. We can use the handy dandy corner radius down here at the bottom to be able to create uh, a pill like shape. This is the uh, param a key parameter that's different between the circle and the rectangle. So let's change this to, let's see, uh, 25. And now we have this nice curved edge here on our um, rectangle. It kind of looks like a button or something like that. So that's super helpful. Additionally, with our circle, I wanna show two more techniques. One is that with our circle, we can actually draw arcs or outlines of circles. And we can do that by bringing our fill alpha to zero because we don't actually want any fill alpha. And we can set our border width to 0 0.05. And now we have a nice outline of a circle. Let's change our border color to a light green. And what we can use here is the arc angles. Arc angles has a beginning arc and an ending arc for our circle. And all of Touch Designer's circles, these arcs, zero starts here and moves backwards counterclockwise to draw the arc. So if I changed my end angle to 90, that would actually go from zero, beginning arc, to 90. And you could change that to 180, you name it. But this is a helpful technique for being able to draw arcs in Touch Designer. 
The last technique I want to show you is we're going to double click here and we are going to add one more circle and we are going to use this circle to create a vignette. So we need a movie file in, drop that in and we're going to bring this connector wire, connect these two tops and we are going to change our movie file in to the oil drums dot JPEG image. We see that it is already getting composited here in the circle. If we navigate to the output page, that's because we're using composite and set resolution. You can also just set resolution only to pull the resolution from our input, but we do want to have a composite technique happening. So let's change our operation to multiply. We can see we now have a mask happening here. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring our background alpha to one. And we're going to use the softness parameter at the bottom. We're going to increase that to let's go to 0 0.25. 0 0.25 gives us a really nice feather technique that we have here, a nice vignette. We can increase the offset to 0 0.75. And now we have a really quick vignette technique using a circle top. So these are just a few ways to work with shapes and colors inside of touch designer.